एवरीवन वेलकम टू एक्सेलेंस पॉइंट क्लासेस इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड विद द टाइप्स ऑफ कॉर्डिलेटरल एंड इन दिस क्लास वी विल स्टडी एक्सरसाइज नंबर 3.3 विद द न्यू सॉल्यूशन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट स्टूडेंट्स इन क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 वी हैव गिवन वन कॉर्डिलेटरल इज देयर व्हिच इज द पैरेललोग्राम नाउ सी वी हैव टू यूज द प्रॉपर्टीज टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन एंड फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स नाउ ad is equal to dash so first of all we will see ad and ad should equal to bc ad should equal to bc why opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal so ad should be equal to bc first thing second angle dcb so angle dcb so it is talking about this angle so the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal so we can say that angle dcb is equal to angle dab so angle dab will be the answer for the third one oc is equal to so oc is equal to oa oc is equal to Okay. The diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other, and for the last one, angle DAB. So angle DAB plus angle CDA. Angle CDA is equal to what? So it will be equal to 180 degree. Why? Angle on same side of transversal are supplementary. So we have finished with the first question. Then second one. students in question number 2 we have given few parallelograms and by using the property of parallelogram we have to find the value of x y and z now just see it by the using property of parallelogram we can say that the value of x and 100 when we will add this it should be equal to 180 degree so we can say that x plus 100 should be equal to 180 degree angle on same side of transversal आर सप्लीमेंट्री सो बाय यूजिंग दिस प्रॉपर्टी वी कैन से दैट नाउ जस्ट फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री माइनस हंड्रेड शो एक्स शुड बी इक्वल टू एटी डिग्रीज दिस विल बी अवर first answer now for finding the value of z you can say that angle z is equal to angle x why the opposite angle of parallelogram are equal so the value of angle z is also equal to what 80 degree and for the last one for the value of y you can say that y is equal to what 100 degree so y is equal to what 100 degree why the opposite angle of a parallelogram are equal so we will write by above property and we have done first question is completed now for the second one just see it now similarly 50 plus x should be equal to what it should be equal to 180 degree so we will write 50 plus x will be equal to 180 degree angle on same side of transversal are supplementary so for the value of x it should be 180 degree minus 50 degree x should be equal to 130 degrees now x should be equal to y so x should be equal to y so we can say that y is also equal to 130 degrees y opposite angle of parallelogram so we will write opposite angles of parallelogram are equal now similarly for the case of z now see these two lines are parallel to each other so angle z is alternate angle to angle y so angle z is equal to angle y we will write alternate angle now angle z will also be equal to 130 degree and we have finished with the second one also now third one students just see the diagram carefully you will observe that the value of x should be equal to 90 degree so the value of x is equal to 90 degree why because it is vertically 
vertically opposite angle now in the similar way you will know that the value of x is known 30 degrees also known so by applying the angle sum property of triangle we can easily find the value of y so we can say that y plus x plus 30 degree it should be equal to 180 degree by angle sum property of triangle the angle sum property of triangle just put the value of x over there so we will get y plus 90 plus 30 should be equal to 180 degree now y should be equal to 180 when we will add this we will get 120 and change the side it will become minus 120 so y should be equal to how much 60 degree so the value of y is 60 degree and the value of x is 90 degree one more z is unknown now you will observe that these two are parallel y because it is parallelogram and just see the value of y and z should be equal y because of alternate angle so we can say that angle z is equal to angle y which is equal to 60 degree y alternate angle so angle z is also equal to here 60 degrees now the next question you will observe that the value of y can be easily find out how because y is opposite to 80 degree so we can say that y is equal to 80 degree the opposite angles of parallelogram are equal now why we have find out now you will observe that y plus x will equal to 180 degree angle on same side of of transversal are supplementary angle on same side of transversal are supplementary so just put the value of y over there so 80 plus x should be equal to 180 degrees so x will be equal to 180 minus 80 we will get x is equal to 100 degrees now observe this z and this 80 degree so what you will observe you all will observe this angle is like this which is the corresponding angle so we can say that z is equal to 80 degree corresponding angle and we have finished with the fourth one now fifth one Question number 5 you will easily identify that the value of y is equal to 112 why y is equal to 112 because of the opposite angle opposite angle of a parallelogram are equal and now you will see that this is a triangle over here and 40 degrees known to us and the value of y is also known to us so we can easily say that x plus y plus 40 degree should be equal to 180 degree this will be angle sum property of triangle so put the value of y over there and we will get x plus 112 plus 40 degree should be equal to 180 degree x plus it will be 152 degree is equal to 180 degree x is equal to 180 minus 152 minus 152 degree so x will be equal to how much it will be 28 degree and it will be the final answer for x and y is also known now for the value of z you will see that these two lines are parallel to each other so x will be alternate angle to this z so we can say that z is equal to x so z will be equal to the value of x which is equal to 28 degree y alternate alternate angle and we have finished with the question number second now question number third Students, in question number 3, we have given one quadrilateral which can be a parallelogram. The question is asking that angle D plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. Now, we can identify it. Suppose angle D is equal to 90 degree and angle B is also equal to 90 degree. At that condition, it can be like a square or a rectangle. So, both the square and rectangle are parallelogram. So, the answer will be yes, it can be a parallelogram so answer will be here yes similarly ab is equal to cd 8 centimeter ab is equal to cd which is equal to 8 centimeter so let us consider 
the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal so it is correct now ad is equal to bc ad is 4 cm so it is also correct but bc here is 4.4 cm which is incorrect so the answer for this will be no the answer for this will be no similarly for angle a is equal to 70 degree suppose this is equal to 70 degree and angle c is given which is equal to 60 5 degree it is not possible why because the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal once more repeat opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal hence it is not possible so the answer here will be no we have finished with the third question now fourth one students in question number four we have to draw a rough figure of a quadrilateral that is not a parallelogram but exactly two opposite angles are of equal measure is it possible or not yes it is possible we have already discussed about kite which is not a parallelogram but yes kite is a quadrilateral so just start drawing the kite so we know that when we are drawing a kite we have to draw one baseline so we have drawn one baseline then here we have drawn one this line okay and then join this and you will get a figure like this a kite may look like a rhombus but it is not a rhombus it is a figure of kite and if we mark a b c d so we can we can say that this angle a should always be equal to angle c here angle a is equal to angle c so the question is asking about drawing a figure of a kite now we will move towards question number fifth students in question number five the measure of the two adjacent angle of a parallelogram are in the ratio of three ratio two it is given that the adjacent angle it is not talking about the opposite angle it is talking about the adjacent angle so just consider if one angle is a and c is opposite to it so c is the opposite angle so we can take b either or d as the adjacent angle now it is saying that the measure is in the ratio of 3 ratio 2 the ratios are not the exact value so we have to take let the let the measure be 3x and 2x so i am taking a and d as an example so we can take this as 3x and we can take this as 2x now we know that angle a is equal to angle c also angle b is equal to angle d opposite angle angle of a parallelogram are equal so by using this property we can say that the value of angle a is equal to angle c also angle b should be equal to angle d now angle a plus angle d should be equal to 180 degree so we can say that angle a plus angle d is equal to 180 degree angle on same side of transversal are supplementary so by applying this property 3x plus 2x should be equal to 180 degree 5x is equal to 180 degree x is equal to 180 degree divided by 5 when we will divide it we will get 36 degree so the value of x is what 36 degree but these are not the exact angle we have to find the value of a b c d over here so angle a is equal to 3x means 3 into 36 degree which will be equal to 108 degree so 108 degree also is it is equal to angle c similarly angle b is equal to angle d which is equal to 2x now 2 into 36 degree will be equal to 70 degree and we got the final answers students i have subdivided this exercise into two parts because the questions are very lengthy now what you have to do you have to practice a lot and if you are new to the channel then do subscribe and press the bell icon thank you for watching have a nice day